the twenty-third verse of the Tao Te Ching. Quote, To talk little is natural. Fierce winds do not blow all morning. A downpour of rain does not last the day. Who does this? Heaven and earth. But these are exaggerated, forced effects, and that is why they cannot be sustained. If heaven and earth cannot sustain a forced action, how much less is man able to do so? Those who follow the way become one with the way. Those who follow goodness become one with goodness. Those who stray from the way and goodness become one with failure. If you conform to the way, its power flows through you. Your actions become those of nature, your ways those of heaven. Open yourself to the Tao and trust your natural responses, then everything will fall into place. Unquote. Living naturally. Everything that composes ultimately decomposes. Notice that I put the emphasis on the word thing. That's because all things on earth are temporary and in a constant state of change. Since you're on this planet, you too are a part of this always changing and always decomposing principle. In this 23rd verse of the Tao Te Ching, you're asked to observe the ways of nature and then make the choice to live harmoniously with them. Nature doesn't have to insist, push, or force anything. After all, storms don't last forever. Winds blow hard, but then they subside. The Tao creates from an eternal perspective, but everything is on its return trip home the moment it comes into being. So Lao Tzu instructs that if you live harmoniously with this simple principle, you'll be in tune with nature. Let go of a desire to force anyone or anything, and choose instead to consciously be part of the cyclical pattern of nature. Lao Tzu reminds you that not even heaven can sustain a forced action. In its inherent beingness, all action has a temporary existence and returns to a calmer state. In contemporary language, we'd say that everything blows over, ultimately. The teachings of this passage invite you to pause in the midst of strife or tension and remember that serenity and peace are on the way. This verse emphatically points out that you always have a choice. In every single situation, you can choose to observe exaggerated and forced energy. It might be verbally attempting to control a situation or cursing how life's events are unfolding. Regardless, these moments can be invitations to open to the Tao even while in the midst of chaos and angst. This is how to follow the way. Remember how nature blows hard and then returns to calm. Follow the goodness of the Tao and you become goodness. Stray from goodness and you become one with failure. You are part of the law of form in time and space, composing and decomposing. Everything in nature is returning to its source. The question is, do you wish to participate consciously with this natural goodness or would you rather spend your moments in anxiety and failure? The Tao response to this crucial question isn't within your ego, for it strongly believes in your ability to force things, to make things happen, or to be the person in charge. The Tao points out that the way is responsible for everything, with a naturalness about it that isn't forced. It reminds you that what seems so devastating in the moment is benevolent perfection in another moment. When you conform to the naturalness of the universe, you cooperate with this all-creating power that flows through you. Suspend ego-driven plans and instead participate in the power that created you. Allow it to be the guiding force in your life. Here's what Lao Tzu says to you through me from this 2,500-year-old perspective in this verse of the Tao Te Ching. First, change your life by actively observing nature's way. See how thunderstorms or fierce winds are temporary conditions that pass instead of thinking of them as destructive or inconvenient events. When what seems like a forceful, uncomfortable situation arises, seek the natural cycle. Affirm, this is a temporary setback. I am going to release myself from having to be the person in control. Then observe what you're feeling, with openness to what is, in this moment. Remember that this is nature's method. Center your mind in a natural way, in perfect rapport with the patience of the universal Tao. And secondly, change your life by trusting your ability to respond naturally to the circumstances in your life. At first, this may involve observing yourself in a friendly way instead of responding immediately. When you feel your inclination to make your opinion known, let this urge silently tell you what it truly wants. Your body knows how to be at peace and wait out the storms of life, but you need to allow it to feel that you're welcoming in its signals. Be still and allow yourself to be in harmony with the creative Tao opening yourself to its power. 
T.S. Eliot evokes the natural cycle in his poem Ash Wednesday. Quote, because I know that time is always time, and place is always and only place, and what is actual is actual only for one time and only for one place, I rejoice that things are as they are. Unquote. That's the idea. Rejoice in the stillness of the Tao. Do the Tao now. Spend an entire day noticing nature and the countless instances that it cycles organically. Seek at least three ways that you'd like to be more natural in your response to life. The cat curling languidly in the sun might symbolize how you'd like to be, or perhaps it's the dawn slowly illuminating the dark without rushing. Maybe you prefer to focus on the tide comfortably coming in and out, apparently without judgment. Find your symbolic images, whatever they may be, and invite their counterparts in the Tao to blossom within you.